America's borders are open for business. The U.S. is now allowing fully vaccinated visitors from several countries to visit for non-essential travel for the first time in more than 600 days. And that includes opening the land border to Canada. Family and friends are excited about the new visitors. And as Caroline Cummings found out, it's also a boost to the tourism industry. MSP Airport has been buzzing with travelers for months, but soon there might be more foot traffic from international visitors. Now that the U.S. said okay to the vaccinated from several countries. The wait was long until, uh, until the border reopened, but uh, yeah, but that was not too difficult. Especially important to Minnesota aren't just those who travel by air, but those who travel by land. And our northern neighbors who drive across the border are welcome back, too. They've missed it. We've missed them. For Rochester resident Suzanne Wilson, that means a long-awaited reunion with her family on the other side, who always come to visit by car. It's the best news. It really is. Um, we've even had to cancel um, family reunions twice. I have not seen my mummy for 20 months. So that, I know everyone can relate to that. Visitors like Suzanne's family from Canada and others from across the world buoy our state's tourism industry. Last year, Explore Minnesota said we took a $10.7 billion hit in travel spending. Canadian tourists dropped 75% last year compared to 2019. Now the industry has the welcome mat ready as Canadians are essential to ongoing economic recovery. We have always enjoyed a strong connection with our Canadian friends and look forward to seeing them back soon. But soon could never be soon enough for those who've spent a year apart. So close, yet so far. I'm hoping very soon, like within, we're talking about um, a few weeks. A lot of fun to be together, so this is the best news. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Travelers to Canada have to present a negative COVID test in addition to being vaccinated. Senator Klobuchar says Canada is reviewing that policy and she hopes they, they will remove that requirement soon.